gonna leave a mark. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of the Darwin Awards. As I like to say here on the channel, guns are awesome. Idiots, on the other hand, not so much. When you put the two of those things together, you might get the winner of what we call a Darwin Award. If you're not familiar with the idea of a Darwin Award, it's when somebody does something so stupid that it removes them from the gene pool and the fittest continue to survive. In this episode, we're gonna have explosions, negligent discharges, maybe even our first knife Darwin Award. So strap on in for another episode as we use dark comedy as a tool to teach gun and weapon safety. Now, if you're a little squeamish to graphic content, don't worry. This video has been appropriately blurred and censored to comply with YouTube guidelines. Also not to permanently scar the teenagers that are undoubtedly in the audience. Trust me, guys. I grew up in the live leak generation. That shit ain't good for you. So without further ado, let's jump on into our first video. So in this video, we have what's called a confidence drill which is where you put other students downrange of the students that are shooting and put them right next to the target to build their confidence. Ironically, it also takes away any confidence I have that you have a good instructor. All right, guy's safe for now. Now he had very little reaction to that, but that man was just shot in the arm. If you go back, you can see the moment where his sleeve ripples a bit and his arm drops a little. A plus to this fucking stud who reacts like Arnold when he was the T-1000 Terminator. Just gets shot and, oh, yeah, I guess that happened. But we also have this video that shows the aftermath of him taking a round. Thankfully, you know, it's training ammo, it's, it's ball ammo, full metal jacket. It's not like a hollow point or anything, so it's not going to be gnarly. But it's just a clean in and out. It's still not great. There's a reason we don't do these fucking drills. Fortunately, it was just a clean in and out, and the worst thing that comes out of this is... Homeboy's fucked up some nice tattoos. But yeah, basically his buddy just gave him the Kyle Rittenhouse Gage Gross Croyd special. Except this guy wasn't even a prohibited person chasing a minor with a gun. By the way, speaking of Gage Gross Croyds, did you see like a month ago he got hit by a fucking car? So for this next one, we've got a guy here at a skeet shooting range. Real quick for those unaware, skeet shooting is where you uh, have a shotgun and you go out in a place where they throw clay discs and you shoot them out of the air. Pretty fun if you never tried it. This gentleman, however, looks like he's about to awkwardly shoot a shotgun with one hand held extended. You know where this is going. <laughs> that couldn't have more perfectly gone in a precarious place. I used to be an adventurer like you, till I took a shotgun to the ass. This guy was about to find out exactly what it means to get your back blown out. Thankfully in this case it was just a single barrel shotgun, uh, but could you imagine if it was a double barrel? You had one of those barrels still loaded and chambered and ready to go. We should probably go over the rules of firearm safety real quick just because this clearly violated one of those. Treat every weapon as if it is loaded. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Know your target and what's behind it. And never point a gun at anything you are not willing to destroy. Think we know which one was violated. Unless he was willing to destroy his own asshole. That came out wrong. Speaking of the RPG, you might notice mine has been moved recently. Oh yeah, we're doing that video. At time of recording, we may or may not have already finished that video. And it may or may not have been fucking awesome. So be sure you're subscribed, because you're not going to miss what happens on Monday. Anyhow, moving on to this gem of a video. So this gentleman wants to try something. And he's in this video, recording himself wearing a bulletproof vest. You know where this is going. I want to try something, though. No. I'm running the time niggas just shooting niggas left I want to see how it felt when I was shooting niggas. He wants to feel what it was like when he was shooting ninjas? What? Um... What an odd thing to say on social media. Gang shit. <laughs> it was not gang shit. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what part of shooting yourself in the chest is gang shit. This is why women live longer than men. And this is why men live longer than men who do gang shit. So sorry to break the immersion, but I'm like almost 100% sure this video is fake. He's probably using either just a primer or a blank. There's a few reasons I believe this. Notice that even though he's holding it awkward as fuck, like he's giving the pistol no real support, it still has pretty much no recoil. Now on the vest, there's just like a little mark and not really, a, there's not a, a visible hole, even just in the fabric or like the, the plate carrier. And the most telling part 
That pistol doesn't even begin to cycle. At least he's not lying when he says that he's okay. I'm okay. For the record, even if you're wearing body armor that can stop a bullet, never a good idea to just, you know, try it out yourself. It's bad juju for one and for two, well, well, we'll talk about another instance where that just really doesn't go well later. Now this next one's a little fucked, but it's probably one of my favorites just because of how bizarre it is. My man's appears to be at a gas station checking out the fine assortment of gas station quality knives. But the real question is, how do you know if a knife is sharp? Well, the answer is obvious. You flick it out and then you press it into your own stomach just to see if it goes in. My favorite part is the fucking audacity he has to be surprised that he stabbed himself. The fuck did you think was going to happen? This dude straight up let his invasive thoughts win. You know what knives are. You know what happens when you push them into soft objects. You are not in fact built different, my boy. What a fucking tool. Speaking of tools though, if you're a tool guy, you'll probably like Warwood Tools. They're a family owned and operated business for the last 160 years dedicated to bringing you high quality tools like sledgehammers and axes. They're based out of West Virginia and their skilled craftsmen uses World War I and World War II era drop hammers to forge these fuckers one at a time. If you're looking for a suggestion, might I recommend the Perfect Axe, forged from 5160 high carbon US steel and 100% made here in the United States. They're a new sponsor of the channel, so go ahead and give them some love down in the description in the pinned comment where you could find the link to their website. Thank you to Warwood Tools and back to Darwin Awards. Now it wouldn't be a proper Darwin Awards video if we didn't have at least one Arab wedding celebration. Here we have our Jameer Doe number one, who has an excellent taste in firearms, by the way. He's rocking a Yugo Underfolder AK M92, to be precise. And they're doing the Arab celebration thing of, of course, shooting up in the air, forgetting that bullets come down. All seems to be going fairly well, until he forgets where his muzzle is and squeezes off one right about head level. Probably gonna have to censor that fall a little bit, but homie just, oh, it's lights out. Did he died? I mean, honestly, he might've survived. Like weirder things have happened, right? But that was, mm. Hoptal. Now this video has been circulating quite a lot in the last week or two. Uh, a lot of people are actually saying that it was premeditated murder. That just that, that angle of the gun coming down and firing perfectly aligning with that dude's noggin seemed like it was intentional. To me, my thoughts are, uh, how did Obi-Wan put it? These last points, too accurate for sand people. Now I'm of course referring to the, uh, the something terrible has happened quote. Why, which one did you use? Now, if you think Arab wedding celebrations are a little crazy, just wait till you see the Chechen weddings. <laughs> Jesus. I love how everybody just immediately turns and looks like, what the fuck? Now I say, I say Chechen as a joke. I have no idea what part in, you know, that part of the world that this happened in, but holy shit. The Eastern European cut of The Wedding Singer. I play in a band. Oh really, what do you play? Well, of course, the PKM. As I've said before in clips like this in the past where people fire weapons indoors, but especially in this particular clip, I really hope that this is a one-story building, because otherwise that would be hella inconsiderate for your upstairs neighbors. PKMs are dope, but maybe don't fire them indoors uninvited. Although the PKM is dope. It's basically just an upside down AK if you've never taken a look at one. It's also designed by Kalashnikov as well. A lot of people don't know that. And if weapon design stuff like that interests you, I hope you know you can get your start in gunsmithing and weapons technology over at sdi.edu. They are the main sponsor of the channel, so you can check them out down in the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Now, another staple of Darwin Awards is of course doing dumb shit with Tannerite. Because nothing says safety like binary explosives far too close. This next video, no exception. So let's watch. Are you ready? Freddy. All right, let's see uh, what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do here? Two pounds of explosives at 22,000 feet per second. First off, damn, that's an interesting scope on that Mosin Nagant. Second of all, two pounds of binaries at that range isn't necessarily unreasonable if it was just the binaries and not, not inside of an appliance that's basically made of shrapnel. That's gonna leave a mark. 
What's funny, though, is that the guy who's shooting, is he's got the right idea. He's bladed against a, what appears to be a concrete wall. Very little of his body actually exposed, and then when it goes off, he ducks behind the wall. His fucking buddy, though, is absolutely not protected by that wall at all, and gets blue falconed pretty hard. Just remember, when shit blows up, the thing that's being blown up goes somewhere. Protect yourself accordingly. Up next, we have some security cam footage of some guys being bros. And by that, I mean a dude going into his buddy's office, grabbing his loaded handgun, pointing it at his hand, and getting the surprise inside. This clip is giving me hardcore Starship Troopers flashbacks. The enemy cannot push a button if you disable his hand. Also, if you haven't seen Starship Troopers before, you absolutely need to. But in this clip, I'm not exactly what was to gain from putting your hand in front of the gun and then pulling the trigger. Like, obviously we have so many gun safety fuck ups here. He grabbed his homie's gun without clearing it, so treating every gun as if it's loaded, putting his finger on the trigger even though he wasn't ready to shoot, and pointing it at something he, I mean, probably wasn't willing to destroy. You know, obviously grabbing somebody's gun, A, without permission, but without clearing it, and then pulling the trigger is just a brain dead thing to do. But the hand in front of the barrel before pulling the trigger is just, Galaxy IQ move. But for somebody who just watched the uncensored clip, good thing he's right-handed. Now our Darwin award-winning clip here is actually a story that I, I heard many years ago, but I didn't realize there was footage of it until just recently. So here's the brief overview of the story and here's the post that made me want to dig into it again. In 2017, YouTube stuntman Pedro Ruiz, AKA the crazy Pedro, wanted to see if a hardcover encyclopedia could stop a bullet from a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. He asked his pregnant girlfriend to shoot the book while he stood behind it. When she shot, the bullet went through the encyclopedia and claimed Pedro's life. Essentially, from digging into this a bit, the kid wanted to be a gun tuber, and in a completely stupid act, decided to put his life literally on the line to do it, which YouTube would not have allowed anyway. You, like, you can't do shit like that. But it kind of shows, even back in 2017, kind of the, the lengths that people will go to to try to get their bit of, of internet fame. Trust me, bro, I've been where you are. I wanted this job like hell in 2017, too. But trust me, being a gun tuber is not always all it's cracked up to be. But still, you know, as the saying goes, best job I ever had. Now, I was very familiar with this story. I'd heard it a couple dozen times, but it recently resurfaced again, and then I found the link to the video. Now, obviously, it's only the first part, so it's not graphic or anything, but if you're sensitive to this kind of stuff, it it is pretty grim. I really just want to see if a 50 caliber bullet can go through a book. What sticks out this video the most to me is how much it actually humanizes Pedro. Like I can sympathize with him. Like there's, there's clips of him getting pissed at trucks driving by ruining his audio. What's the point of this? I really just want to see if that trucks. <laughs> you know, it's easy to just dismiss somebody, call him a dumbass, and laugh at a headline. But actually watching somebody laugh with their girlfriend having no idea that they are minutes away from death. That's, that's pretty heavy. I'm just not gonna just set it and just shoot it, no. I'm going to stand behind it and Mona Lisa is going to shoot it. Now he was putting a lot of faith in his girlfriend's hands, but to be fair to her, I mean, looking at that photo of the book, she hit pretty much right on the money. The problem was I, I just, why not test this first? Why not test this book first? I mean, if you're gonna be doing a stupid stunt like this, I mean, at least know for a fact how it's going to end. God, this one's personally, yeah, it's personally frustrating to me. I'm just putting it like through my eyes. Like I'm just thinking of accidentally inspiring some kid to do this. That's why I try to focus so much on safety guys. Like I just can't, like you, you have to take this stuff seriously. So if I'm gonna die, I'm pretty much ready to go to heaven right now. If I die, I'll be ready for Jesus. He probably won't accept me into the pearly gates because how stupid this is, but I have confidence that my girlfriend will hit the book and not me. Well, even though I agree with Pedro, um, what he did was stupid. I do kind of personally hope Jesus did still accept him. Stupid as the stunt might be, Pedro seemed like a good enough kid. And this that's that's a rough way to go. And unfortunately, I believe his girlfriend ended up like doing a few months for a manslaughter charge out of this whole ordeal. I think I heard she did like a couple months in prison for that. Let me actually verify that. Oh, fuck me, he's my age. We were both born in 95. Talk about two parallel life paths that split in 
Yeah, wow. Yep, she was sentenced to 180 days in jail. God, what a, what a fucked case. Just goes to show, like, look, guys, I, I know you see us do cool gun stuff all the time, right? But please remember, as, as fun as they can be and as useful of a tool as they can be, they're not toys. You have to treat them with respect. Doing something stupid and showing off to your friends on Instagram is not worth your life. Just please, guys, remember what I've told you guys here and, and, and everywhere else. Remember the rules of gun safety and treat every weapon with respect. Because I really don't want to see one of you guys winning a Darwin Award. So with that in mind, that wraps this episode of the Darwin Awards. If you'd like to check out other Darwin Awards videos, we've got them in a series down below. I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end of the video. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Now, if you think Arab weapon, weapon celebration, Freudian slip. Now, if you think, now, if you think Arab, fuck.